Ciao guys and welcome to Learn This. Today I'm not by myself, I'm here with Dafa and another Namibian girl, Fanny on the pill. And today we're going to talk about top African stereotypes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's what we're going to talk about today. And I mean, there are so many things, of, especially the perception of Europeans what they think of Africa and when you live here as an African you, you get to experience that Africa is a country oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, like people always feel like Africa is a small thing like you yeah. know, a small country you have you speak Africans but they don't think of Africans as Africans that we know right. and they think of this all Africans eat the same food, they have the same culture. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Do, you get, do, you, do you get the same thing? Yeah, I find that statement to be very problematic because I come across it so, so many times. Um, and the whole thing of, you know, generalizing Africa as a village is so bad because I've had, I remember the first time I came to Europe, I've had a friend, uh, it was like a pool party that we're hosting and stuff, and a friend of mine came to me and was like, oh, are you from Africa? And I'm like, you know, I know, it was like, oh, I'm a friend from, and I was like, yeah, I am, but I'm from Namibia, right? You know, the, this a distinction, you know, we have countries. And I was like, oh, I'm a friend from Nigeria. His name is who, 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 do you know him? Oh, I looked at him and oh. I was like, you know, I'm people really have no idea of how big is Africa. Because uh, it being the second continent in, in the world, uh, the second biggest, and having about over, actually over 50 countries, and uh, over 300 languages, I would think oh, that you are doing culture and environment. <laughs> So, guys, Africa is a continent, <laughs> not a country. All Africans are black. No, no, no. 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 Southern <laughs> Africa is full of so many, you know, we have colors, we have uh, Africaners, we have, number, uh, you know, Namibian, Ethiopians, Germans, yes, we have Ethiopians as well. Like, you know, it's really diverse. And you know, I know, like I have met Africans that have even blue eyes, green eyes. Oh it's yeah, really, it's not like Africans are not defined by their color. I mean, we know Trevor Noah, for example. Oh yeah, born a crime. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like honestly, Africans are not defined by their color. Like, I'm not all Africans are black. Like, you find so many Africans. Like, sometimes when I go to Germany and uh, when I, when I'm here, we had an Namibian independence, and there were like some Namibian people like Namibians. Yeah. Really? Yes. Were they really surprised? Yes. Like, oh, Namibians, you can't. It, like, they almost like you can't be African when you're not. Yeah. When yeah. you're black. Who is black to start off with? That's very important. Like hundred percent pure skin tone that is recognized as black. Is it uh, those that are mixed, you know, mixed in some countries are actually? recognized as black is it about the culture no it's really about the culture when i think of myself as an african i'm not thinking about my color i'm thinking more like culture. eating kapana <laughs> you know, i'm going to the to the bride on a friday afternoon that's what i really you know that's what i relate to yeah. and regardless of your color if you're born in namibia you you, you miss those things when you move here and so point yeah. is not all africans are black that's true yes. Africa is hot. I mean, when European think, we, we know when you, for example, when you're organizing a trip to Africa, everybody only think vest. I don't need to take any blanket. The temperature is about 40 degrees. But like in Namibia, you go up to 35 degrees yeah. in, during the day. Depending on where you are during the night, it can be minus five. Yeah, yeah. Experience in the winter, we, the really, it's it snows so like regularly in. Um, in, in Lesotho, for example, in South Africa, you have occasional snow. In Namibia, it snowed this year as well as 2011. So, but most of the time, it's always it's minus, ice especially or frost. Or frost. Yeah, well, it, like it's it, not it, during winter, snow. in the morning, uh, you know, at night, it can get cold. Pretty so much not. every Namibian winter goes up to minus five. Yeah, I've come across a lot of people that um, often 
say that we don't have seasons in Africa. Oh, no, there's no, only you know, I mean, there's only summer. Me. No, oh, yeah, I have really? a, lot, a lot of them. Yeah, yeah a lot like, of them say that there's only summer, and I'm like. Oh, but we do have winter as well. We have spring as well. They're like, really? You do? Yes. Oh, yeah. Spring so, is yes, the time of all four weeks. We bring the fresh stuff. Yes. Yeah. Everybody. Every. I mean, pretty much everybody outside Africa think Africa is unsafe. They think of, oh, everything is dirty. Mm -hmm. They think of diseases, oh my goodness, they have to take all the injections and all tablets they get right. right from the pharmacy before oh the job. Then they think of malaria, you can't even get on the street. Like I'm thinking, honestly, there are so many European cities here where it's really dangerous. And oh. that here, and dead. <laughs> You know, for example, I always hear people saying, no, I chose to travel somewhere else because it's not safe to travel in Africa. I, yes, I would love to go there, but I'm a solo traveler. It's not safe. I'm like, I know so many people being robbed mm -hmm. everywhere else in Prague, in Rome, everywhere. In Rome. But I'm living, Rome is like, I'm a living proof yeah. of that. I have been pickpocketed. In, in, in Aachen specifically. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know, in a German yes. city. Yes. So these things are not, people shouldn't single them out and, you know, just say that it's only in Africa. Mm -hmm. But in Europe, we have a lot of places that yeah. are also unsafe. The southern part of Namibia, for example, all the way down south, there is no malaria because it's a dry part of the, 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 the country. And then we learn in this. Uh, causes that malaria that it's it, like it's highly um, uh, found in, in, in Namibia and I'm like where did you get your statistic? Animals are not on the streets in Africa but people feel it's true people feel like do I just and how am I gonna enter the house what if I wake up and then there's an elephant in front of the house <laughs> people tend to believe that we have animals roaming the streets in Africa. <laughs> you know, I just really just say that, you know what, I have an elephant for a pet. Mm -hmm. And they really <laughs> just believe it. And, and I'm just, you know, I try to be some but they just don't get it. They think mm -hmm. I'm being yeah, truthful. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, really? Really, you want to believe me? Yeah, I, 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 I lie for a cat. Honestly, it's so do You have to pay to see a lion. They are not on the street. <laughs> Even if you yeah. visit, you have to do safari. We yeah. don't have animals on the street. All Africans are poor, like Africa. It, you know, people think of Africa poverty. Mm. When I grew up, yeah, yeah. it's absolutely relative, and yeah. it's also so monetary oriented, which should I be. I was gonna touch that because yeah. you know there are places that mm, people in rural areas also, for example, may not have money. But they yeah, have pieces of land mm -hmm. where they would uh, garden and cultivate their food. Mm -hmm. A good example is kids without shoes. Mm -hmm. It's always over and over on TV. People, when I was a child, I have so many pairs of shoes. But I never wore any of them and my parents had to force me to mm -hmm. wear them. Honestly, it's like comfortable. Was, <laughs> yes, you're perfect. You just want to run to school. My, mother was like forcing us so eventually my mother didn't even buy shoes anymore we had one pair to wear when we were going to church or when we were going to the clinic yeah. but otherwise when we we're going to school maybe your friends will, will put on the shoes when we leave the house as soon as you go behind the house you leave, leave them the and you <laughs> and but do yes we africans are heat resistant who gets that drink? Oh summer? my goodness, I do. Why are you oh, wearing sunscreen? Are you don't need yes. sunscreen. You're fine. And I'm just like, listen, I, we also get heat burn. Like, we, we do burn as well. <laughs> no, but I feel like if you're educated, you know, like a darker mm -hmm. surface absorb more heat. More. For me, when, when it's hot, and even in Europe, when it gets hot, I always use an umbrella because for me, my honestly, if you're wearing your vest, really your skin is no, burning. We, like we, you feel that we burn. Like your skin is burning. It's not turning. Maybe it's, yeah. it's also turns very fast. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Even some people just don't see the difference. But when mm -hmm. when I come to you immediately after the summer, you're like, oh, let me. Oh, when you're in the yeah. sun, you see that. But mm -hmm. I can see that now. But most people that I work with, they're just like. No, you're always the same. You are heat resistant. Like, oh, can you even? I think 
Something like you can't feel it's hot today. Yeah. I question their education. <laughs> I, I really no, question you don't their have education in that case because it's hot, but then for you it's fine. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's the one thing I constantly I I'm I'm even tired of, you know, defending this point. You know, we'd be walking as a group of people, you know, and it's quite it would be hot and stuff. And you know, I'd be like, Oh my god, it's so hot. People will be like, Why are you complaining? You're from Namibia. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm from Africa. Oh, you're from Africa. Africa. They don't even say you're from (laughs) Namibia. They're like, oh, you're from Africa. I'm like, yeah, and. Um, no, but you guys have, uh, you know, you use, you should be used to it. And I'm like, we don't walk around things. (laughs) We have, you know, um, Klima Amlarun, we have, um, Uh, air air conditioning. (laughs) And and, and, and they just assume that, you know, that's what you use. Africans, you, you know, it's very hot in most of the African countries, but we are not people who when walk it gets hot, we go mm. sit in the sun. We, that's, <laughs> we can't do such thing. Usually, for example, most people at home during the hot summer, everybody has a light cotton cloth that covers the whole right? so You don't even get really sunburned yeah. because your skin is covered. Yeah. Maybe you're sweating, but your skin is covered. But yeah. 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 No, we don't go and lie in the sun when it's hot. That's why you yeah. don't do like. Yeah. And and we really another thing I I just uh, actually inspected when I was growing up in the villages in Namibia in the northern part of Namibia when it's very hot we go into a refreshing tree shade and you sit there or you lie down there until it's cooler in like the and it's really yeah and it's really a tradition that has been maintained uh, in the rural areas of, mm-hmm. of lunch or so it's it's really feeling the heat and uh, putting up with it is another thing right wow. it's not like okay african food is bad have you, have you experienced this like you want you <laughs> what, who is saying that germany or <laughs> no 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 <laughs> yeah. no but you know let me put it this way you 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 cook something for the people and they're like is it healthy to eat hold on Benny, i don't know why you're laughing it's true let me, we just had i had many over the other day and we're having you know the Namibian food and i was sort of asking my flatmate to try i'm sorry but yeah hey fall yes i'll ask you to try what kind like, of Namibian food we had more fine homes we had uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> We had uh, pap or shipima, yeah. ekaka, ekaka, mm-hmm. yeah. and um, what else did we have? We, we had chicken, chicken as well. We had chicken. You know, chicken. Mm-hmm. He even asked if that was safe to eat, and I was like, well, like and mind you, he gave us the chicken. He tried, and, right. and, and it was, and they, <laughs> <laughs> and, they and I'm just like, um, how are you asking me if this is safe to eat? So, so you feel like I've been yeah. eating poison right, all my life, right. and here. And, and you know this happens quite yeah, all, all the time <laughs> and i always tell people yeah. our food is way safer to eat because most yeah. of it is produced really on small scale mm-hmm. people put so much love and attention yeah. when they're creating when they are producing this process. you know you are not using artificial fertilizers mm-hmm. you are not using any hormone you're not using any antibiotics it's mm-hmm. really safer all african man has been bananas I'm dead. Oh, <laughs> I had to say. <laughs> I actually had I mean, to say all of them. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, I've heard stories of people who already some African with yeah. small banana. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. But, but banana, by the way, if you don't get it yet, oh my penis goodness, you <laughs> think? <laughs> There was a study done. I think they have a map of penises. Mm-hmm. I hope you can find that. So. A map and, of uh, <laughs> 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 banana. <laughs> I'm learning here. And and yeah, like you say, it's actually diverse. You have you know um, average. They they did like yeah, average and diversity. well, come to actually think about it in that map, there were Germans. Yes. That have Big bananas. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I like okay, guys, we might be wrong. Maybe people are basing this on a, uh, you know, a majority. Maybe no, majority no, of I no, it's really a stereotype. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's a stereotype. <laughs> and you know, sometimes, sometimes. Because I'm just trying to understand. <laughs> wait, is they coming from? No, wrong? What's the 
Everybody, everybody always feel the same these things and you know the weird part is that a guy yeah you know even like and just a european friend of yours who mm. said oh my african guys beat beat this and, I, and you know what i say like oh have you tried or yeah. how do you know it's just your type and yeah. i'm just like why do you guys get this information but it, it's yeah. one of these really stereotype everywhere else also for my european woman is thinking mm. of this as an african guy can't date enough. Mm-hmm. Has big one. Oh, hold on! Is this what they say? They can't date them because they have big yes. ones. Because I thought they would be like they have big ones. <laughs> I thought they have big ones. They can't afford. No, no. No, I mean it depends. I mean, it pretty but some people say no I yeah. can't do it without oh, it I yeah. see. maybe some people feel like I do it because oh, but I'm just saying but this 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 is really like a misconception. Yeah. So guys, <laughs> thank you so much. Hand. That was it from <laughs> Lampis. <laughs> guys, please stop these stereotypes just travel africa be open minded and if you know some african friends just get to know them and you know get to learn a little bit about the culture and different countries start there mm-hmm. we are not in a country we are in a continent mm-hmm. so start there and then try the food it's healthy and then travel it's also safe to travel and we have so many nice places especially in namibia when it comes mm-hmm. to safaris and stuff so if Thank you so much and see you in my next video. <laughs> <laughs> Bye ciao.